Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat for you today. We've got some really cool plague bearers that have been completed by Nick, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with what Siege Studios is as a business, we are a premium commission model painting service located in the UK with a team of 28 painters that all paint from an above tabletop as a minimum all the way up to competition entry quality. Uh, and that's what we do predominantly as a business. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply all you need to do is go to to the link in this in our description of this video which takes you directly to the contact form select the relevant drop down options for your project and your commission which are on there and then in the message section include a model list in our format which is listed and shown on there fire that off to us and uh, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started uh, but we're going to be back in a second to have a look at these awesome plague bearers in more detail see you guys back in a sec so let's dive in and have a look at these awesome plague bearers. Uh, they've been painted by Nick, one of the artists here at Siege, as I mentioned in the intro to the video. Really, really cool models, very iconic. Um, it sums up Nurgle and demons very, very easily and very quickly. Obviously very putrid with their guts and bits and bobs hanging out, which is uh, very typical of Nurgle models. Um, but let's just get some of these in focus so you guys can have a look at them. Really, really cool. Let's just get into focus for you guys. Uh, as you can see, Nick's done loads of awesome highlighting work on these models uh, and all the skin and muscular structure, all the pus and uh, sort of sore areas and uh, little spots and pustules all over the skin uh, i like the fact that the weapons are very clean a lot of people do them very sort of uh, damaged and rusty and things like that but we've made them just look very insidious uh, in this obsidian kind of color scheme here which is really nice so that's just one of them pull forward the banner dude uh, obviously he's got this awesome awesome sort of fly-esque banner which is cool as he's just lumbering forward there with all of his entrails hanging out um so that's just him uh they are very very funny as well i do find them quite comedic in their, their nature as well with all the little the bits and bobs he's got a load of maggots there coming out of his mouth <laughs> um probably eating or something but uh that's just him so really really cool there just moving around so you can see all the lovely highlighting work that's been done on these awesome models um the musician from the unit here really really cool there as you can see look like bones that he's using there for his uh, his flute so that's just him. I love the teeth on the stomach as well. It's a really cool little feature and it will detail work. But everyone, you know, is very individual, which is quite cool. Uh, they've all got their own sort of character and personality, which is really nice. Again, there are lots of guts hanging out on this guy. Uh, he's got a bit of a swollen leg as well, as you can see there, mutated leg. But that's really, really cool. So that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the one from the back as well, so you can see him in a bit more detail. Again, really cool. Look, he's definitely been to the dentist with his uh, pearly whites there, as you can see. <laughs> so that's just him. And then the front rank, very much the same. Again, he's got a great big yellow sort of thing coming out, like a little creature coming out of his stomach as well, which is quite cool, probably a nurgling. And uh, the other gentleman here, he's uh, tasting his blade by the looks of it, or just picking his teeth with his sword. Um, you've got the iconic three kind of pustules, that Nurgle symbol there on his stomach. You've got the champion or, or herald from the unit. Uh, really cool. Just a nice uh, set of collection of heads there for him as well and a lovely maw on his stomach. And um, another chap here with a very different kind of mask. He's like a snout, which is quite cool. So that's just him. Uh, and then the last one, which we'll have a look at, is again another gentleman that's uh, deciding to eat his, his blade, which is quite funny. Uh, so that's just him and loads of guts there all hanging out, as you can see. But uh, if I just get that to focus, you can see all the lovely highlighting work that Nick's done on all those guts the skin the pustules and everything really 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 cool models uh, and this is our above tabletop level for you guys so you can just see the quality that you get here with us at siege thanks for checking these out guys we're back in a second just to recap the unit and also go over about how you can take a commission out with us i'll see you guys back in a second so thank you for checking this video out guys i do hope you like these awesome plague bearers really cool models they're very iconic for the demon side of uh, age of sigmar and also 40k uh, great models i know nick enjoyed painting very much so uh, if you are interested in a commission with us here at siege then all you need to do very simply is head to the link that is in the description of this video which takes you to our contact form on our website on that contact form select the drop down options that are relevant for you for your project and then in the message section of the contact form, just put a model list in our format, which is shown that it's very easy to do, uh, plus any additional details or notations about sculpting, freehand converting, other things that you may want as well. Uh, and please do go into depth about those. Uh, as always, please like this video, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it ever so much if you do so. While you're here, give us a subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will get updated and notified when new videos do go up from the studio. Uh, and finally, there's all of our social media links in the description of this video as well so instagram twitter and facebook please go like and follow those respectively so then you can keep up to date with all the work in progress photos and showcases of models and things that we get up to as a business thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one take care bye bye